In this presentation, we're looking at how we perform a password recovery on a 2500 series router. The password recovery procedures we're looking at here are not the same for all makes and models of Cisco routers, so be sure to check your documentation for your particular model. So the problem is we have acquired a router and we don't know the password, or we have forgotten the router password, or the last person to touch the router just happens to be the router tech that we let go, and he left you a little going away present by resetting the password before walking out the building. Take your pick because they all get recovered the same way. Now once you determine that the password is lost, we're just going to reboot the machine. So let's go ahead and hit enter, and I'm going to try to get into the privileged mode, and I'm going to keep typing my password until it kicks me back out. So we've determined that I do have a bad password, so I'm just going to reach up, and I'm going to reboot my router. Now, once the router reboots, I have approximately 60 seconds to initiate what is known as a control break sequence. And I do this by hitting the control pause break key at the same time on my keyboard. And you'll notice that it comes up to a different prompt. This is the greater than, the greater than sign prompt, and this is also known as the ROM monitor mode prompt. All right, now I'm going to type in O. And that's going to bring me up a list of all the different configuration registers that I have to work with. Okay, now what I'm going to type in is O slash R, and I'm going to type in the register that I need to be in that's above where my passwords are stored. So I'm going to type in 0x2142. Now I'm going to type in I to initialize the configuration or reinitialize the configuration. And that's going to cause the system to reboot one more time. Okay, here we are at the system configuration dialog. Now this would take us into the setup mode, but we don't want to go here, so I'm just going to say no. And that brings me back up to the logon screen for my router, and I'm just going to hit enter. And that brings me back up to the default router prompt. Now I'm going to type in EN. And you'll notice that we don't get prompted for any passwords at this level because we are above where the passwords are stored and we're not into the same configuration register that my NVRAM is working in. Or I should say my startup config is stored in. Okay? Now I'm going to type in copy start run and this is going to copy over the startup config to my running config and watch what happens. So here it's going to ask me to confirm the default file name, which I will do. And now when the prompt comes back up, we're right back to where we were when we rebooted the machine the first time. You see that my prompt is back to being what it was. And this is because I just loaded the startup config to my current running config. All right, good. Now we're going to go into the config T mode, or the config global configuration mode, if you will. And now I'm going to re-enable my password by typing in enable password. And I'm going to type in my new password. And I'm going to hit enter. And now I'm going to back out by hitting control Z. Go back up inside the privilege executive mode. And now I'm going to type in write memory, or WR, M -E -M, and that's going to save my current configuration. Now once this configuration builds, I'm going to go back into the global configuration mode. Now watch what happens. What I'm going to do here now is I'm going to reset my router back into the proper configuration register that it belongs in. So here I'm going to type in config dash register space 0 x 2102. All right. Hit enter. Now I've gone and put everything back into the proper register. And I'm going to hit control Z. And that completes the password recovery, and now you're all set with a new password.